who do you expect to be in the Eastern Conference Finals? Well, last week we talked about this was going to be a sweep by Brooklyn. They were looking great. And I keep telling people, it's great to have the best talent in the world. It's great to be well coached. But to win a championship, Theodore, you've got to have a lot of luck on your team. You think about Kobe's and Shaq's three-peat with the Lakers. You think about MJ and Scotty and back-to-back three-peats. A lot of luck. Were they talented? Absolutely. Were they well coached? Absolutely. But you've got to have a lot of luck. Can you even remember when MJ even thought about missing a game because of an injury when he was – I can't even remember if he, if he ever did miss a game. And it wasn't like he was just shooting jump shots. I mean, he was driving, punishing people and no twisted ankles, no knee issues. A lot of luck goes into winning championships. And we're the healthiest team is going to win, win this year's championship. Who's going to be standing at the end? I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. Injuries are a part of the game. You just don't want them at this time of the year, which we're seeing right now. Yeah, and Harden's status, he's upgraded to doubtful for tonight. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to play. Now it's on Kevin Durant, and and he's had the benefit of these super teams recently. Now it's back to, all right. Okay, see you, Dave, let's right? see. Let's see what you can do. Let's see. Go out there. Let's see you win a, a big game. I will say this. Um, if there's any one player who could deliver a huge game in a moment like this, it's Kevin Durant. And I will say this, role players play better at home. I expect Brooklyn and some of these guys that normally don't get the limelight because it's Kyrie or James Harden along with KD, they'll shoot better, they'll play harder, that uh, New York crowd will kind of energize them a little bit. It's, you know, I'm not going out on a limb here. Who wins tonight, to me, wins the series between Milwaukee and Brooklyn? If I'm Brooklyn, all I'm saying is, look, let's just win our home games. We win our home games, we advance to the conference finals. But this is Milwaukee's best chance. This will maybe their only chance. Because if it goes seven games, I can't see them winning back in Brooklyn. Yeah. This is the chance for Milwaukee to win the series. They've got to win tonight with two superstars down for the Nets and just KD. It's got to be all our chips in the center of the table for Milwaukee. They They must win tonight to win this series. Is it a bigger game for Durant or a bigger game for the Greek freak? Because he doesn't have any excuses here. I I agree. Um, I think there's built-in excuses for KD because he doesn't have Kyrie and Harden. But to be the it's the only game tonight. All eyes will be on this matchup. And let's face it, Milwaukee has come up short the last two years. They've had the best record the last two years, and they've fallen short. And the Greek has not played up to MVP expectations by winning back-to-back MVPs. Come playoff, he has disappeared. He had a great game four, but you're right. Why is he taking those threes? What's that? Why is the Greek freak taking those threes? I have no idea. Like, I want him to take them. Because they're daring him. They're daring him. They're baiting him into it, but that's a recipe for disaster. It, I, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Yeah, it, it, like I don't want him going to the hoop. If I'm if I'm Brooklyn, I if you stay on the perimeter, that means you can't rebound, and you're not a good shooter. So go ahead, take those shots there. And here's the thing: it's not only the threes. I'd almost bait him into long twos too. If you're going to settle yeah. and you're not going to put pressure on Blake Griffin or any of our interior bigs, I'll, I'll settle for that. I'll win. That's a win if you're Steve Nash in Brooklyn. 